Hi, my name is Joby Ranjup. I'm going to show you how to recover chairs today. If you have chairs that have upholstery, it splits, it's old, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Most of these chairs have the bottom, it's a piece of plywood that's covered that comes off. So you need to find those screws, take those screws out. piece of plywood and that piece of plywood <clears throat> is just covered and it's stapled. What we're going to do is remove this welting right here. We're going to take that off and then um, we're just going to cover right over this. I'm not even going to take it off. I'm just going to start by taking a screwdriver and I'm going to pry that piece of welting up like this. Pull it up all the way around the perimeter. This is stapled on. I'm just going to throw this out. The cover stapled on plus the welting was stapled on so the little tiny staples that the welting had need to come off as well. So I'm going to take those staples off. I can just grab my pliers or sometimes a screwdriver you'll just be lucky enough to get the whole thing out like this. I'm just going to work it up like this. If I can't get it out, I'm just going to pull it out like that all the way around. Okay, so this is the material I'm going to use. My wife picked out on the internet. And what I'm going to do is just cut around here. using the right, correct side, if there's a right side and a wrong side to this. Take this extra material away. Just going to take a household stapler. Go ahead and check and see if I can. Go ahead and staple this right here. Staple it across. And keep stapling. On each side. Around here, this is this is where it comes. It bolts to the bottom of the chair, or screws to the bottom of the chair, so I'm just going to make sure there's no material at these screw holes. Just going to pull in the corner here. Pull in the corner. I'm going to have to do something about that. Pull in the corner. I'll show you what to do there. Okay. Now, I see that this is going to be in the way, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this off. Stays down. Continue that. All right, so I've completely gone around, stapled every single one, and just kept tucking, kept stapling, making sure to stay away from these holes, which are going to um, put it to the bottom of the chair. So you can see what it looks like on the top. Now, what I'm going to do is put this on the chair. Put it up and center it like that. All you're doing is screwing into the bottom of the plywood backing. Six of these at a time, so the holes aren't going to line up exactly. But if I can just get them started in the plywood.
and that is what a completed chair looks like. And as you can see, I've got a whole set. Three more chairs to go, and I'm done. So that's how you recover a chair.